What up, YouTube fan? We in here, Anthony Talk Life, back with another video. And in this one, I want to talk about the Glow Easy Lock Curve Strip Box. Now, this is not going to be a review video. I really just want to give you my thoughts on why I bought it, what I use it for, and how it differs from just your standard strip box. Now, when it comes to strip boxes in general, they are somewhat of a niche specialized modifier. They're obviously really good for rim lights, which is what most people use them for. But I actually use strip boxes a lot when I do headshot work. I experimented with lighting and I found a lighting pattern that really worked. And so I've stuck with this. So I, I don't use a strip box of this size. This is uh, like a six foot strip box but I do use strip boxes. So when I saw this modifier on Adorama's website, and if you're a fan of my videos, or if you watch my videos, I should say, uh, you would definitely know I am a big fan of Glow Easy Lock modifiers. I have a ton of them. So when I saw this one, I was intrigued by it because when it comes to photography related stuff, when it's something that I haven't seen before, what I always try to do is figure out what it is the product is looking to achieve. So when I saw this, I was really intrigued by this arc because being a strip box user, I thought this was pretty genius in that uh, you could really wrap your light, your subject in light with this modifier. So I decided to pick it up and give it a try. They have two sizes. This is the smaller one. They have a bigger one as well, which I also have. Um, and so I decided to pick it up and give it a try to see what it can do. And I was very pleased with the light output from this. Now, when it comes to this one versus your regular strip box, I'm not going to sit here in front and say that there is a huge different, huge difference in the light quality, the light pattern or anything of the sort. The differences between these two modifiers, it is a... I would go as far as saying a somewhat minimal difference, but in the defense of this arc strip box, a lot of the light shaping that we do, we are making minimal changes to get what we want. When you think about a standard soft box, when you use a reflector to fill in the shadows, you're filling in the shadows minimally. You're not trying to remove the shadows. You're just trying to open up the exposure just a little bit. So a lot of the adjustments that we do in photography anyway are minimal adjustments. And so that's the reason why I really wanted to talk about this. With this, with the shape of this particular strip box, what it really does is it helps to fill in the shadows in a way that the standard uh, strip box just doesn't do. And a part of that is because instead of having this modifier where it's just one straight line of light, you have this curve here. So if you have your subject right here in the center of it, you've got the light that's wrapping around, that's coming in and it's filling in the shadows on both sides. And that's really what I've seen with this. Again, it is a minimal difference, but there definitely is a difference between the two. And what I found when I use this for headshots is that it really reduces the need for me to have to use a uh, reflector to fill in the shadows underneath the chin and on the side of the face. This modifier really does it all. So I'm able to place this modifier above the subject and I get nice, even soft lighting across the face. But the great thing about it is that it doesn't fill in the shadows all the way. So this isn't like a beauty light. Um, it definitely still has shadows that you can see, but those shadows are not as deep with the arc strip box as they are with the standard strip box. So you know, when it comes to stuff like this, it really is a tool in the arsenal, right? If you have a regular strip box already, would I tell you to go out and get this arc strip box? Absolutely not. Because to me, this is something that you would need to have a specific purpose for. The main reason that drew me to this was the fact that I do use strip boxes when I do headshot work and some portrait work. And so I thought the design of this would work really well and that's how it has panned out to be. So again, I wouldn't tell you to go out and get this just for the sake of getting it if you already have a strip box or if you're not really a user of strip boxes, don't waste your money on this, don't go and get it. For me, when it comes to headshot work or portrait work, what this ultimately does is it saves me time. 
okay? If I only have to set this up versus setting up a regular softbox, and then I have to deal with a modifier or with the reflector. So that means either I'm holding the reflector or I'm getting out a reflector stand. I gotta set that up, get that in place. To be able to just have this one modifier that I can set up and it essentially achieves the look that I'm going for from a business perspective, this has already paid for itself because that time that it saves me, that's time that I don't have to spend at a session. Uh, so this really helps simplify my workflow and that's why I got it. So again, I would definitely say this is more of a niche modifier. Um, I know uh, my homeboy SJ, he uses this for his portraiture stuff. He has a few videos where he's using this. So definitely go check his channel. I'm not sure which videos uh, use this. So <laughs> go check his channel and watch all of his videos. Um, so he uses this for that and, and that's, that's cool. I don't typically use it in the way that he uses it, but you certainly can, uh, this typically, this really can be used just as a regular strip box as well. So if this is the only one that you had, it could definitely serve multiple purposes, but yeah, this is a nice little modifier. So I'll leave the link. I'll leave a link in the description below is not an affiliate affiliate link cannot talk today it's not an affiliate link but i'll leave a link down below if you're interested in that and yeah so that's all i have for you in this one hopefully you found this helpful i really want to do more videos like this where i'm just kind of giving my thoughts on things that i use and why i use them because i feel like that could be useful maybe there's no use for you there's no use for this for you um, but it's good to get a photographer's insight on why they do something or why they use a product, why they chose something, why they shoot the way they shoot. Sometimes it can help you think differently in regards to how you do things. So that's really what this video was about. And I do want to bring more videos like this to the channel. So if you found this helpful or entertaining, or if you just want to support me and my channel, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help. And if you like this content and you want to see more content like this or like the other videos that I've been posting on my channel, go ahead and subscribe and do like Anita Ward said and ring that bell. So as always, I appreciate your support. I appreciate you watching my videos and until the next one, take care.